Kayla. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to go. Exploratorium with John and Kayla, Kyla, and Elizabeth, and we're talking about seismography. Don't touch the and John's going to explain to us all about seismography. Go ahead, John. How is it measuring the vibrations? If there was a big earthquake, we would see this pen move bouncing back and forth. Go ahead, John. Yeah. And without an earthquake, you have to make it move by jumping. So how is it feeling the vibrations? What is that? Well, there's a coil uh -huh. down there in a magnet. The uh, coil is on a spring and it bounces up and down in the magnetic field. Okay. And that generates a little voltage. So the magnet, as the magnet moves, it generates... Well, actually, how does it measure constant? The magnet is still. And the coil, the coil moves. moves. So where's your constant there? Your constant, is it still? Yeah, when there's no vibration, the uh, coil is still and the magnet is still and there's nothing else. And then there is just a lot of measurement on how much the coil can move to how big the vibrations are? Yeah, it's the velocity are. actually. The velocity of the coil determines the height of the uh, wave here. Yeah. Okay. okay. And did you work out with this stuff? Sure. For a long time, so we had paper records like this. Now we have the records on the computer. Okay. In the 89, you had it only on paper or on computer? No, it was on computer. So, John, how long did you work with seismography? Uh, well, I started graduate, graduate school in 1966. I worked at USGS starting in 71, mm -hmm. and I retired from the USGS in 2003. Wow. Did you have to set these things up? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. We set up seismometers in Alaska. But mostly the sensors like that. And then... We put the sensor in the ground, and the radio transmitter. And we transmitted the signals back to a central location where they recorded on the film. These sensors, the ones that they really use out in like Alaska, are they a lot bigger? No, actually they're oh, really bigger. Oh really? Are you done? Yeah. Yes, so. You slow. We want to see you. Yeah. It's just so much energy. So they're only a little bit bigger? Yeah, that's right. I'd like to see the one in the back there. Yeah. The one that has uh, this big around, about this tall. And then did you have to space them out? Yeah. Or did we, you just we, put them where you thought faults were? Well, we spaced them out. Every, uh, maybe 50 kilometers. Okay. That 30 one miles apart. And you had to hike it? We had helicopters. Oh. <laughs> and then, um, and you just found evidence of faults, and so that's where you chose to put them, or did you try well, to put them Well, there's places? a lot of activity in Alaska. Okay. So we just did as a broad sweep as we could along southern Alaska. Oh. An anchorage over the actual. Okay. The activity in Alaska, is it 
volcanic? Well, it's both. Okay. We had volcanoes and, and, and the tectonic. Okay. But the main uh, earthquakes there are underfrosted. Okay. There's a specific plane that's going under the west. Once the plate is under Alaska, then it has lots of moisture. Okay. And they put lots of the plates in the plate that have been subducted under Alaska, as well as some in the front. Mostly it is the plate that comes from. Where does it switch from being a transition fault to being a... Um, Transform to subduction. Yeah, transform. Well, along the hand handle, it strikes the okay. transform. But you know, Alaska looks like this. This is the panhandle. That's the panhandle. So Here's that's Alaska. where it's. And just simply going like this. So it's a transform over here. Okay. It's a direction here. Okay. Okay. Cool, I didn't know that. I have to teach my students different types of things. There you go. I do very I skipped over it this section. <laughs> There's there are pictures on the USGS website. Yeah. I see. And some of them are animated. I really wish I had a smart classroom. I don't even have a projection. No, no one. So you can't project internet things. No, the only thing I have is uh, um, overhead. So I can make transparent things. Yeah. 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 But it's just, that's a lot of transparency and stuff, so I don't, I don't like overhead. Some of the teachers have um, a lot of teachers. computer and a projector and stuff. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm asking right now, but it's been three weeks ago, I asked for something to hook up to my TV. Seismographic heaven. Well, you're very welcome. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah. This, uh, I think this stuff here, the sensor and this drum recorder are things that I donated to the exploratory in the 1970s. Wow. Yeah. So I'm impressed that they still have them. Isn't that something? Was that was that in your office? These were probably surplus from our office in Menlo Park. Oh wow! So it's probably the same one I saw when I was a little girl. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> it's ancient. Wow. Yeah. 
I remember the big ones that they had. So how does that make you feel, Elizabeth? It makes me feel old. <laughs> I remember in Corvallis, the big ones, that was impressive. All the ones that they had. Corvallis, you showed me with your office. And you took me. Corvallis, no, um, Golden. Oh, Golden. Yeah. You took me there and had like. Yeah, they have a whole wall of these. A whole wall of them. Thank you very much for donating this. Well, yeah. Very nice of you. <laughs> I only, uh, I facilitated it. It wasn't really mine to donate, but I found the right person who was willing to I'm do sure it. I'm sure it was your idea. Yeah. Give it to him. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you very much. Sure. Okay, here we are. Leaving the Exploratorium. How many kids are there? Grandkids uh, or kids? Kids. Three. Three. You? Kaya, who's outside. Uh -huh. And Nils is coming tonight. Three kids, three grandkids. Very lucky girl. He has his chin. Oh, she does. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I never noticed that before. <laughs> and she does have his nose a bit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she has his hair for sure. I do too. Well, he doesn't have it anymore.
very disappointed he can't get this. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it now. Oh, oh. oh he got it. That was cool. Oh, oh. It's tough. That bigger one is so good. Oh, it is a will, there is a way. There you go. Okay. the family. Okay. Goodbye, Barry. <laughs> we leave John we right in front of the tactile dome. Great appreciator on an incredible adventure himself. Yeah. It was nice meeting you. Thank nice you. meeting you as well. John, all the best. Okay. Thanks for coming down. It's nice seeing you again. Yeah.